so you're looking to run Windows 7 on your Mac for nostalgia. Maybe you want to play some of the old games here. Uh, maybe you want to test the limits of Windows 7. See what modern programs you're able to install in here. Um, chess. Yeah, I used to love this as a as a, 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 a kid. And then I, what I would do is I would go options. I would make sure it's 3D. Graphics quality 10. Throw. Oh, I see. It doesn't have the latest graphics. There are some limitations to this thing. But for the most part, we're going to be able to do things like that. Um, another good one is solitaire. Anyhow, um, yeah, I could, uh, I could play this for a while. Anyhow, um, <laughs> let's get into the tutorial here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to run Windows 7 on your Mac. So step one is download a 64-bit Windows 7 ISO. So the one I'm going to recommend is Windows 7 Ultimate. Free download, 64 bit ISO. It's gonna look like this on your desktop, a .iso file. Step two is download UTM virtual machines. It's a $10 program that will run Windows 7. The next step is to open, uh, Real quick, uh, let me show you something. Once you get it set up to shut it down, don't click this. Keep, uh, keep this in mind whenever you're using this program. Don't shut it down like this. Uh, you're killing the virtual machine. Shut it down from within Windows 7 itself. Okay, and then you can close it out. Anyhow, step number three, open UTM, click browse UTM gallery, scroll down, click Windows 7, click download. Also, uh, there's other things you can do here as well. Run Windows 11, for instance. So, don't just stop at this tutorial, browse this, figure out how to get this stuff. Have fun with that. Okay. Uh, select Windows 7, select download. It's going to be a .utm file, like so. Double click on it, it opens Windows 7. Scroll down, click on CD slash DVD, and select your ISO file. and then click run. Step four, when Windows 7 begins to boot, make sure to hit enter. To boot it up when prompted, you'll be prompted to hit enter. Just be timely about it, hit enter. Go through the installation steps. When asked which type of installation do you want, click custom. Follow prompts and install. Once installed, shut Windows 7 down from within Windows 7 itself. Don't click the little red thing here. Uh, go to start, shut down, and then you can click the red thing. Okay, once you have it shut down and you have it running and, and you've had it set up, you can shut it down and download Spice Tools. It's right here, download this and uh, let's cancel it real quickly. And it's gonna be an ISO that looks like so. Then go back into UTM, click on CD slash DVD, and now select the Spice Tools ISO. And then 
click run. This will, this is support from UTM to support your Windows 7 virtual machine. And then you hit run. Uh, that's actually it for the tutorial. Um, so anyhow, I'm gonna have some uh, some fun with this. But uh, and I've had some fun with this uh, playing solitaire, playing pinball. I'm just doing it for nostalgia. But uh, I don't know. Let me know what what else I can do with this thing. What are you guys using it for? Anyhow, peace.